What is going on you guys? It's Hawaiian Blur here. Welcome back to another video and today I'm bringing you a non-spoiler review of the Teen Wolf movie um, 2022 version, not the Michael J. Fox version. Without further ado, uh, here is my non-spoiler review of, boom, Teen Wolf the movie. So, there comes a time where everybody grows up and that's kind of what this movie really showed is that you know they're not teens anymore they're adults um this movie takes place 15 years after the um and there's a lot of confusion going around online and i'll need to kind of find like the actual answer but from my understanding this movie is supposed to take place 15 years after the events of the final moments of teen wolf but some people are saying that it's 15 years after the events of allison dying um, if that is the case, there's a lot of plot holes, but that's why I'm, I'm leaning more towards the movie takes place 15 years after the events of the final moments that we see. Now, is the movie perfect? No, absolutely not. Um, but as a Teen Wolf fan, will you enjoy the movie? I, I did. I know there's a lot of people out there who were hoping for certain things, um, Dylan O'Brien's character Styles was unfortunately not able to um, make it this time around. Uh, Dylan O'Brien um, received news that the movie was happening way too quickly. Um, he wasn't prepared for it and he was already in the middle of shooting other projects. So he was unable to make it and plus he said that his character was kind of left in a good area and to let and he kind of gave Jeff Davis his blessing to do what he would willing to do to his character in the show or in the movie. And uh, in my opinion, they brought up his character enough. They like for him missing, like what can you expect? You know, they talk about him thoroughly. They tell us what he's currently doing. They kind of give us an idea of where his character's at. So that's, that's where, like, I know there was some people upset about that. I, as a fan, I'm upset that he couldn't make it, but I am okay with how they dealt with his character missing. Now, there are a couple things that you could call plot holes, but I see them as moments where it gives us questions that I'm hoping we will get answers to in a future film and or revitalization in a series. Um, and so that's why I'm going to score this movie a 7 out of 10 based on the fact that I know Jeff Davis wants to make multiple movies. And so this was the setup for that. And I think a lot of people either don't know that or they don't assume that. And that's kind of like, like if you go into a movie and you're hoping for like, and you as the writer are wanting to and willing to make sequels, you're not going to give all the answers in the first movie or the one movie, because then you can't make any more movies. So that's kind of where I'm at with this, you know? Like, like when we first found out that Derek Hale had a son, our first question was, who's the mom? Well, that's not really... Spoilers a little bit. That's not really answered in this movie. But that's still a question that's in the air and can be talked about in a future movie. Why would you want that answered, you know? You know, that's all I'm saying. So, um, not to keep dragging on and on and on about this, but Teen Wolf the movie. I, if you're a fan of Teen Wolf, I think you're gonna love it. Don't feed into the online criticisms of people who literally have been saying for a year now, if, if Styles isn't in it, it's not Teen Wolf, guys. Styles is a beloved character. He was Scott's best friend. But it's a it's a movie and a show called Teen Wolf. Our Teen Wolf is Scott McCall. He is the Teen Wolf, the true alpha. And the movie is about, like, the whole premise is about him. So that's why this movie is about him and kind of ending his story on a better note than it ended at the end of... 6b so 
that's my non-spoiler review. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And let me know if you guys want me to keep talking about Team Wolf the movie. Let me know if you want me to talk about any theories that I might have. Any things like that. I'll also post stuff on TikTok as well if you guys want to discuss it over there. But anyways, on to the next, ladies and gentlemen.